In the previous video, we took a look at how to customize your template, and we're going to take that a step further in this video by looking at the module manager and not only how to edit the modules that currently exist, but how you can go about creating new modules. To access your module manager, click on the module manager here on the left hand side or by going to extensions and pulling down to module manager. If you would like to create a new module, click on the green New button in the upper left hand corner. You'll see that there are several module types listed and this gives you an idea of all the different things that you can do to customize your site. Now keep in mind that this list is full of all of the options that come prepackaged within Joomla. So if you want to list your archived articles or a particular articles category, a custom HTML sidebar, let's say, where you want to insert an image or some random text, if you want to have a login box for your website or a particular menu that you've set up for the sidebar, etc., all of that is pre-installed for you. As you go about finding new extensions, if they have a module piece to them or the extension is a module, you will find them appearing in this list and that is how you will go about setting where they are located on your site and customizing them as well. So let's say I want to insert a custom HTML box on my sidebar. I can click custom HTML. When the new module page appears, you'll immediately see the title box and you can insert whatever you want this title to be. So for this example, I will title this module latest news. Now you'll notice that the box below looks just like an article and you will simply type in the text or insert an image just like you would for an article. You can go ahead and enter the text that you would like to have. Uh, remember that you can always highlight your text, you can bold it, you can customize it in any way that you would like here. If you would like to insert an image, just like you would with the article, you can place your cursor where you would like it to go and you can scroll down to the image button below and go directly into your media manager and either select an image from here or upload a new one. Now remember, there's two things that you'll want to do with the module that are different from just simply creating an article. One, you want to make sure that you select the correct position. So again, if I would like this to appear, let's say in my footer on the bottom left hand side, that was position user one. So I'm gonna put that in user one. The second thing I want to do is click on a menu assignment and decide if, if I want that to appear in the footer of all of the pages or just some of them. Since it's the footer, I'm going to keep my footer consistent throughout all the pages, so I will leave that and I will go ahead and click Save. Now you'll see here my new module, Latest News, is now active and it appears in position number one. But I can return to the list and I can again see if there's anything else that I would like to do. If I want to show off my most read content, I can do that here. If I want it just from particular car categories, I can select that here and I can choose the number of, of articles that will appear in this list. So as you start gaining traffic to your website if you want to point people quickly to the most popular articles. This is how to do that without having to monitor that with your statistics. As you work on a module, you can choose to have it published or unpublished. That way you can leave it unpublished and continue to work on it until you are ready for it to be active on your site. You can also select a start publishing date. So if you want current information to appear three days from now, you can go ahead and pop up the calendar and then you can select the particular date that you would like for it to pop up, start appearing on your website. And the same with finishing. If you, if you want the module to appear on your site indefinitely, you'll leave that blank. However, if you only want the information to appear for a week, you can set that time frame here 
and it will automatically be removed from your website. So that's a really nice feature to have, especially if you're gonna be out of town on vacation or you simply just don't wanna to have to worry about it, that will take care of it for you. So the module manager is very easy to use. You just wanna make sure that you take a look at the positions that your particular template has. If you ever decide to change your template and you activate a new one, keep in mind that your module positions are very likely going to be different. So if you change templates and all of a sudden your menu's gone, your sidebar's gone, don't panic. Simply go in to your template manager and preview your module positions. And all you'll need to do is access your module manager and change those positions with your published modules and everything will return to normal with the new template that you've selected.